<clears throat> Alright guys, another day, another adventure. Just here, got coronavirus, <laughs> coughing everywhere. No, I'm just kidding. But yeah, you see the taps and sinks everywhere. You know, it's really dense in Paraguay. They have rules for everything, as I said. But yeah, another tour of Paraguay. This is, that's uh, the nice area of Mariscal Lopez. Towards the centre where it gets pretty nice. And this is downtown towards the, uh, where everything is. But <clears throat> it's still kind of, um, dense it's downtown so it's kind of rough kind of a bit dangerous but that's where everyone everything is where everything goes that way it's bit, everything's a bit more spaced out like uh, american malls here's everything's a bit more together clubs <clears throat> it's a bit um, the old area <clears throat> but yeah you read the title right <laughs> yeah i'll tell you a story about why everyone pays for sex i mean unless the teenagers and they're you know under the age of like 18 or whatever or 16 because that, when that age, they just get home hormones, so they're just trying to release all the hormones. But yeah, I'll get back onto that subject. But yeah, I'll tell you a little story. Um, and uh, it's, this sums up Par Paraguayan girls. I mean, Argentinian girls, you, you know, you, a message a few girls, you know, before I come here. Usually they're like they're wearing short skirts, they're wearing high, you know, bright coloured clothing, and you know that's a big signal. And um, <clears throat> you know, really tight clothing. And obviously they're into sex. They're very, they only respond when you're sexing them. They're all about, oh yeah, come baby, all this kind of stuff, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm coming, you know, this kind of stuff. And um, oh, what will you do to me? What, what are you going to do to me? And they end up sexing. You think they're going to down to meet and you think they're going to come to your hotel or whatever. You think they're going to meet you anywhere. But no, it's the um, complete opposite. I mean, you might get the impression that Paraguayan girls and Argentinian girls are really easy. And are really into just meeting, you know, and down for sex, which they are. You know, they are, they are up to meeting down for sex. But also, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to the day, it won't, ha it won't happen. As I was saying, you know, you'll sex these girls and they'll be, be really into you, you know, in a different country. Then when you come here and you'll, say, and you'll make plans for meeting and they won't meet. And instead, they'll realise that, you know, <clears throat> you're into meeting them, so they'll change their mind. Because it, it's a really cosy place, and uh, sunshine. Oh, look at this, it's just really cosy kind of place where nothing ever happens. You get that atmosphere in the air where nothing happens. People are just laying in bed, watching Netflix, doing nothing. You, you look at Instagram, look at people from Paraguay. They don't have an adventurous life. They don't go anywhere, they don't do much, <laughs> except for the weekend to the club. Whereas Brazil, everyone's going out climbing mountains and everything. That's what I love about Brazil, and I can't wait to return to Rio. <clears throat> But here they have the no stress kind of lifestyle. And obviously that when they meet people up, when you meet you know, up, up someone for sex, that's gonna cause a lot of stress. Lots of thoughts in the mind, like what can happen. So But you might get the it twisty if you message them because they'll be really down for sex, you know, when you first message them. <clears throat> but anyways, that that happens quite a few times and then just meet down be down for meeting and then think, hang on a minute, he's really down. He really, he's really down for me to me. So, you know, people just and the girls here, they just stay in bed. They get and the only sex because they're really frustrated. All they do is stay in bed and just masturbate themselves to sleep <laughs> um, and watch Netflix, scroll Instagram. They don't do anything. They might go out one night a week at the most, you know, uh, to a party or something, to a local party with, with people they know. And that's the biggest waste, but <clears throat> and do drugs and everything. And that's why they're related because marijuana and booze here and, and in Argentina is a big thing. So it causes you to, causes you to be lazy. And whenever I smoke weed, it causes me to be lazy, just lie in bed and eat lots of food. And that's all they do here. And then when they find out that, um, <clears throat> you know, it's too, too dangerous to meet them, when it comes to the senses, when it comes down to the day, they realize that the, uh, they're in a poor environment, you know, so they want money. So they realize, hang on a minute, this guy, he wants to meet me. Why don't I just ask him for money? You know, that's the uh, common sense of it. That's what they do. <clears throat> so they'll sex you and the sex you and lead you on. And uh, even if they are into you, even if, but they still won't be in the mood because they just, they have a really cozy lifestyle here. Even when I'm here, I just feel like chilling out and relaxing and watching Netflix. That's what I like Paraguay for. That's why I like to come in. That's why I like to, the only reason why I like to come in because it's just relaxing. <clears throat> Well, one of the reasons it's good, uh, it's like a home away from home. <coughs> Everything's really cozy, the people are warm. 
but yeah, so the, the, the Legion one with like uh, sex and stuff, they'll be in, I mean, they will be interested in down, down for me to for sex. But obviously, when it comes to the senses, you know, it causes a lot of anxiety and comes, <coughs> like anything, you know, they'll come to the senses. Because you might think when they're sexy, think, hang on a minute, this girl's crazy. She makes me make, make for sex. Well, you know, it could be anything, but you know, obviously they're just frustrated because they're in bed and they never get they never get any because they just or they never get anything good enough because they all they spend the day, all they do with their life is just live within their limitations and obviously if you live within your limitations you're not gonna achieve anything um <clears throat> or achieve anything worthwhile achieve any pleasure or anything so they're always so they so they won't meet up with you um for sex very rarely obviously they won't meet up with you as mates um <coughs> even if you know they started sex but I doubt it if they started sexing you first then they'll think they're you're just gonna rape them or something because obviously anything can happen you know you can be a serial killer they could be a serial killer anything could happen so yeah they finally come to the senses when it comes down to the day and all that instead they'll realize it's too it's uh they're too lazy and they're too tired and they just want to stay in bed all the time this environment causes them to age a lot because of the unhealthy food and everything so they'll just ask you for, for money so they may change their mind, they may go from sexing and being all into you and everything and say, oh, send me money, send me money, because they really need money here. If you look at this environment, I mean, they, a lot of them can barely afford anything, um, can barely afford food. So yeah, they'll ask you for money. And that's what happens all the time, 99% um, of the time. But obviously, the best way to go do it is to go to clubs here. <coughs> but it's, it makes sense, because everybody pay for sex unless you're a big celebrity or everything but even celebrities people are usually only getting with them because they know the girls the girls know that they can uh, eventually provide them stuff they can throw money at them anytime they want <laughs> girls in this day and age they age twice as fast as they have social media and Netflix and the most poisonous sedentary lifestyle just eating fast food and Netflix and just everything is in their hands they never have to go anywhere so that causes a real lazy sedentary poor unhealthy lifestyle and that causes them to age twice as fast stressed with their Instagram being like the stress of a celebrity you know but, but, none, but none of the benefits you know the stress of being a celebrity of everyone looking at you all the time but none, none of the benefits <laughs> none of the health benefits as well so yeah you see like for 15 year olds, 16 year olds with hair and the hair's thinning, they look like a 30 year old, you know? And then I see like 30 year olds who are born, you know, in the 80s or whatever, they know the value of uh, true health because they were born in real times without internet, pushing their body. So they know the value in the, of things. <coughs> My young girls today, they don't understand that. <coughs> so yeah. But everybody pays for sex, like, if you think, I'm not sure about the guys that pay for hookers or anything, those do it honestly, those do it like, um, that's honest work, you know, you're getting what you, you paid for there, but girls here, they, you pay for sex with your time, your money, your time is the worst if you pay with your time, because you'll never get that back, your time, your money, your energy, <clears throat> whereas if you pay for sex, I've never paid for sex yet, but uh, I wouldn't be against it if it ever happened because it's just, it's honest. Hey, you have a German bar. Have these everywhere. This is usually empty though. I might go in there and just pretend they're German or something. Everywhere you go in Paraguay, you go, oh, Alemania, Alemania, because they're really fascists like everywhere. They're always into the wrong kind. I think they're the best, everything, you know, because. We have a history and a polit politi politics with a Germany. So yeah, everybody pays for sex, so don't feel bad. Everybody um, pays something. Even Dan Blazarian, he's not getting <coughs> all those girls, which aren't even good looking. You look at those girls, they all look dead inside. They all look plastic and fake. And he's giving them just so that they can pay for their next surgery or whatever because they're too unhealthy because they don't have real health they don't have real nature <laughs> like girls under the age of like 
20 or even 18 you know they have their bodies are, you know aging twice as fast in this day and age so they're literally still they're literally like 30 year olds i'm gonna get a lot of hate for this but this is the truth and it's <coughs> i hate this to I think this to be the way it is but it is the truth is always hard if it wasn't hard it wouldn't be called truth because it wouldn't make us better if it was easy it wouldn't make us better and it wouldn't so it wouldn't be truth truth is always making us better and pushing us through the hard times towards freedom and fulfillment <coughs> Yeah, as you can see, I might sound a bit different, I might sound a bit slower. Um, I went to a party last week and everyone was smoking weed. <clears throat> I think I'm a bit high after the second hand smoke. I've been, just been really tired and <clears throat> really lazy last week. I just feel like sleeping and eating all the time. But yeah, we're heading that back towards downtown. It's where it's, uh, I think the best club in Aston Shawnee is O'Leary's. Because it's not too posh, it's not too poor. <clears throat> where you have Taj and all these other clubs, they kind of, kind of upscale and posh. And Coyotes is closed. But I like all areas because it's kind of cozy. It's kind of a mix. <clears throat> so I'm going there every Friday night. So yeah, everybody pays for sex. Money, time, energy. And if you're a big celebrity, sometimes you have to sacrifice your whole life. Like big celebrities are big athletes and sports stars. I mean, I've trained my whole life. You know, it's like that. You have to, to become something. And then, once you become successful, girls will throw themselves at you. But they will expect something. <clears throat> All these big celebrities, girls probably asking them on the side, can you pay for this, can you pay for that? And it's no problem for big celebrities, they can just throw thousands away and it wouldn't even be a, you know, <clears throat> a dint <clears throat> to anything in their life. So yeah, everybody pays for sex, except, but the girls under the, you know, they don't pay, they don't have pay for sex, you know, these um, aren't asking for money, these t teenagers, they're actually real, you know, they're real girls, and real women are too, too tired to be that way, because they realise they're not getting anything back, because the, cause the, um, the teenagers who maybe ha haven't lost their virginity think sex is this big thing, like uh, like out of a porn movie, like out of uh, porn videos, and they think it's this big, epic thing. I think it's going to be the best sex ever, always, and usually they're disheartened, you know, because they're deluded by society. And then they realised, hang on a minute, this sex isn't good, so how, what else can I get out of this? I, I know, I'll ask for money. Usually, <clears throat> that's the case, but a lot of the cases, these old women, not old women, even in the 20s, they look old, they look about 40, because they age twice as fast. Just look at their pictures, they look about 40 years old, you know. So they don't have the energy for sex, they don't have the energy and they're you know they're not fertile anymore. Usually if she's usually on the majority if she lives in a first world country and she's eating fast food every day like a lot of them are and just on the phone, face glued to a screen with all the radiation it gives off. Well that radiation from your phone gives off, it's in your pocket all the time. That affects your testes and it's and it affects women as well, so it makes room fair time. A lot of it does. You keep your phone next, to, next in your pocket, next to your balls, or pussy every day, and it's just you. You look it up. <laughs> the radiation gives it gives off radiation, and it makes you age twice as fast. And that's the way society is killing up everyone. I mean, the world's becoming overpopulated, and I do believe that everything that's being fed to us, everything that's being mass produced to us. Even phones, even everything, all the information through media, internet, everything, is to get us to kill ourselves. Because the world being overpopulated, and the world cannot sustain its overpopulation. So all these people are just, you know, producing phones, producing all these things to get us to be miserable. All the chemicals in fast food, all the chemicals and everything, all the radiation is causing us to age twice as fast, be miserable, be infertile not get enjoyment out of sex, on nature. Be far away from nature, and the beach, and the sea, and everything, like real de Janeiro, be far away from that as possible. Like real nature, and just to be miserable. And just to be, you know, just to give up on life. That's, that need, that's, what, that's the way they benefit. This is where I usually train, and the outdoors, and my feet touch the grass. And they, you know, they don't benefit 
from you being free and being with nature and being healthy to benefit from you being hooked on their drugs and being miserable and everybody paying for sex you know paying for with time and money and being miserable giving all your time and money away just so you can spill your seed and then when you spill your seed you're even more depleted more away from your dreams more away from everything that you are more away from your passions so yeah even like everything's better you have sex have sex have sex through the media so it's, so it's indoctrinated isn't you the girls when, in, when they're teenagers they have this real fertility this real passion this real fire and that goes out because of society this is what society tells them oh no you're only supposed to do this you're supposed to do that and um, then when they turn 20, they're miserable. So the only thing that can make them happy is money because they're too weak for sex. They're too weak for anything real. They're too weak for real passion. They're too weak to push their body to be clean, to be fertile, to be for the blood to flow throughout their entire body. And uh, yeah, that's the shame for most of, and eat all this meat, eat all these dead animals and stuff. And obviously, if you can eat something dead, you're going to become deaf, you know? You are what you eat. Obviously, physically, mentally, and everything, emotionally. See, so yeah, what goes around comes around, always. So if you eat meat, what's, what do you think is going to happen? But yeah, especially if you eat processed. But yeah, when the team, and it's just a shame, it's just it's such a waste because like then when they're you know 15 or 16 or 17 I'm gonna get a lot of hate for this they're very fertile and full of energy but then it goes out because they obey the rules they obey society you know and it's gone you know, blink, of, blink of an eye just because of society's lies and that's all society just to get us to be miserable to get us to be suicidal to give up whilst these porn stars and getting paid you know like you run Jeremy like 70 years old or whatever and he's fucking he's the most ugliest unsuccessful he's the most ugliest horrible human being untalented unintelligent human being you can ever imagine and he's got he's getting everything a man desires from everything a man ever wanted you look at the pawn stars he's fucking and the beautiful girls he's fucking 50 years younger like even probably even more than that probably 60 years younger in some cases but yeah like 50 years younger than him and they're beautiful they're hot and beautiful and sexy and fucking them in every single way a man desires that every single man wants and on top of that he lives he's getting famous money and lives in LA the good life for that there couldn't be any more corruption or backwardness in the world than that you know and what goes around coming around when you have, have something like that that exists in this world that kind of backwardness that exists in this world obviously nothing can be real nothing can be happy nothing can be fulfilled or pleasurable because that's going to go around in the world and come around and people see that and this is the fact that all men are too afraid to say because they're too afraid of labels no one says the truth anymore because everyone's too afraid of labels of uh, women say this oh you're this oh you're that and usually women that say that are miserable because they live in their own limitations and trying to bring them down to their own level but yeah just got some blueberries Got some blueberries from the shop. Best in fear, blueberries, strawberries, blueberries, blackberries. But yeah, I then Ron Jeremy's getting on that. And then you have like hardworking, fit, intelligent guys who give blood, sweat, and tears every single day, just so they can have a fraction of what Ron Jeremy has, and they get treated like shit, and they get treated like the worst, you know, you know, kind of get kind of low, you know, lowest kind of people they give blood sweat and tears every single day and that's why they, they kill themselves girls like that you see all these great guys who kill themselves and you you live you have a world where all the great heroes and all the great men and all the great guys are killing themselves because the backwardness of society that's obviously going to create a miserable pathetic and fertile you know miserable existence world you know because the world is made by people you know that's why I ignore, I ignore our people I'm just trying to focus on nature that's why I like Rio de Janeiro. I, just, I can spend my day going to the beach, climbing mountains, 
drinking exotic fruits and cup of sugar and acai and all the amazing fruits. I can, I, and I, I was like that for two years, just never speaking to anyone. You know, I didn't speak any English to anybody because no one there spoke English, so I just spoke Portuguese for food and drink. I didn't have any conversation for like two years, just, and I was happy. I was happy, and I'm happy to go back to that now with my place in um, Rio. And the same here in Paraguay, I don't speak to anyone. Oasis. But yeah, just having a hotel up here. So yeah, everybody pays for sex, except for Ron Jeremy, <laughs> the most horrible man you can imagine. <laughs> he gets everything. They pay him for sex. And not, not just not honestly, because most men they try hard and give blood, sweat, and tears. They may have sex, they want to get what Ron Jeremy has. Every man wants what a porn star has. Every man. And there's no, there's no such thing as female company. Men, you're watching this and you're female, I don't give a crap. Men hate your company because you're all miserable. You're miserable because of society, because of society's lies. But, you know, if you don't believe, you don't believe what uh, I'm saying. You think that men like women's company? No, we don't. You don't offer anything. All you offer is draining our energy. You don't offer any meaning. You don't offer anything. They just offer draining a man as a vampire. Obviously, no man will tell you this because they want to get into your pussy. Everything a woman's ever told is lies, just so people can get into their pussy. And that's why they are miserable. Because they're deluded. Because if you're deluded after a lifetime of lies, you're going to make you a spoiled, deluded pig and never achieving your potential. So yeah, we live in this world where this porn star like Ron Jeremy, all because they're born in the right place and with the right size penis, you know? It's just ridiculous. And people think, why is the world so screwed up? Why is the world so miserable? You know, what goes around comes around. You have things like that, like that, that exist in this world. Uh, guys like that are getting spoiled. You're getting everything a man desires for the most hottest beautiful women where you get blood, sweat and tears just, and just, just for being born in the USA but you get blood, sweat and tears to be a fit pro athlete or whatever to be the best guy you can be and you end up wanting to get a little bit of what Ron Jeremy has but being the, a, a better man a hundred times more than he is but you end up just getting killed you just end up, and with girls that don't know how to have sex they might be pretty, but they don't have sex and you don't get any kind of fulfillment at all. They just lay there like dead seals because they don't have any idea because the internet, social media, society has made them too nervous, too, um, and too infertile and too scared for real sex. So they just, that's what the phone does to them. It's made them, it's made them all, like in the 90s or whatever, people, girls used to go out and used to be free and have confidence and everything but now girls have no confidence because they're just deluded by the lies on the phone it's like the equivalent of when you see that nerd in high school or whatever i was the nerd in high school i used to play my game boy <laughs> but yeah it's okay at young age but not being sure of himself but you, you see that everywhere like everybody is equivalent to that their face glued to a screen like a geek playing pokemon or whatever but in this day and age it's 24 7 it's not just like i used to do that like i'm a game boy like maybe an hour a day but in this day and age it's it's 24-7, you know, and imagine someone doing that. If I did that 24-7, glued to my face to, to a screen 24-7, I'd be so unhealthy and so unsure of myself and everything. And that's what our girls are. So they just lay there like a dead seal. And all these girls in LA are fucking fat, ugly, disgusting men. All because women settle. Because women don't have the strength for the real fulfillment to give to the real men who deserve it. That's where all poison comes from, where all miser miser misery comes from in this world. As what goes around comes around, you know? Which most girls do, they just lay there, sit, have their head to the phone 24 seven, so they don't have the strength to give it to the men who deserve it, which is they're too scared. So they settle with their whichever boys in the right place at the right time, and they're wasted. Their youth is wasted, their potential is wasted, and then they wonder why they're so miserable. And it's gonna, Finish off with a work, workout, quick training here, do some measurable work out the sun's going in, so I'm trying to, have to get some sun. So yeah, all misery, this, this is the truth that all men are too afraid to say, and why men commit suicide, because they're too afraid to say this, because of what, what, they, what, of what they will be labelled by women. 
but all the misery, all the poison is at the root is because women just settle and spoil the guys who don't deserve it because they think it's too hard, they think it's too tough and they just lay in bed and they waste their beauty and fertility and youth and everything on whichever guy was just there in the right place and they call it love when they haven't even experienced 0.0.1% of the world or life you know and that's the, that's the majority of uh, girls in this day and age and people are too afraid to say this because they think oh you're a woman here are you this I'm just too afraid to say I don't give a fuck I have a great life so I can I travel the world every day and so yeah I don't need to lie so when we settle and give up if they're over the age of you know maybe 16 or 18 and they just give up maybe 16 in, in uh, England which is the legal age and you see the girls in England they look like even worse because there's no sun in England you think look 30 years old at 18 even 40 and they're miserable they're all angry you know if a girl comes at you and she's angry which all girls are in this day and age and she's really bitchy that's because she's not getting any sex she's not fulfillment you see a girl when she, after she's had sex she's had sex she wants and sex she likes I wish she she's happy she doesn't need to you know back anyone so all these bitchy girls you're trying to fuck you know you're doing them a favour by trying to fuck them by easing them by ease them out of their misery and frustration but they can't see that because of this lifetime of lies they've been told which makes them kill themselves which keeps the planet depopulation in order you know it keeps the, uh, the governments and everyone happy so yeah that's the truth that everyone's too afraid to say that all women needs to know this